Now I would request Janab Musadiq Ahmed Sahab, our president, to kindly deliver the vote of thanks for this program. Thank you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Respected Shira Sahab, Sahab, Professor Dr. Barguru Ramchandrapa, Dr. K. B. Linkakoda Sahab, religious leaders, respected guests of the occasion. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May peace and blessings of Allah be upon you all. It is my privilege to have been asked to propose a word of thanks on this occasion where so many distinguished religious and political leaders and honorable members of different walks of life have assembled. As already mentioned by the earlier speakers, the purpose of organizing such a function is to clear, uh, clear the misunderstandings about the religion of Islam and to create inter-community peace and harmony, which is so essential during this trouble period. Peace symposiums like this help to create a better understanding among various religions. Similar peace symposiums are held in different metropolitan cities within India and outside, as directed by our supreme leader and head of worldwide Ahmadiyya Muslim community, and is just one of our many efforts to try and fulfill our desire for peace to be established in the world. Now, I would like to thank each and every one of you without taking much of your time. At the outset, I thank the Almighty God for His blessings, which has enabled us to conduct this peace symposium in a very good manner, Alhamdulillah. On behalf of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, Bangalore, Bangalore, I express my sincere gratitude to Honorable, Honorable Sri Vajubai Rudabai Walaji, the Governor of Karnataka, who has kindly accepted invitation to be the chief guest on this function and delivered an inspirational speech. As you are aware, he is the head of the state and very busy in his activities. We are very grateful to you, sir, for your august presence in this function. I also wish to express my gratitude to Janab Shira Sama Sahab, Additional Executive Director of Ahmadiyya Muslim Community, India, for making it convenient to attend this function and for delivering the keynote address. I also take this opportunity to sincerely thank Dr. Barguru Ramchandrapa for his valuable speech. His secular credentials are well known and his views should get wide publicity for promoting peace and harmony in the society. I am also very grateful to Dr. K.B. K. B. Linke Gowda Sahib, who spoke some kind words about our community. On behalf of Ahmadiyya Muslim Community, Bengaluru, I also thank Dr. Father Victor Lobo, Professor Harjinder Singh Bhatia, Venerable Kesapa Mahatera, for gracefully accepting our invitation and delivering their valuable sermons on this happy occasion. It is heartening that all these honorable gurus and religious leaders have made it convenient to be present in one place, showing that we are all members of one community, the humankind, in spite of following different faiths. Your august presence and blessings has indeed given a spiritual atmosphere to this function. I also would like to express my gratitude to Janab Hassan Abbas Sahab also and Guru Swamiji. I would also like to thank Mr. H.N. Nagmohan Das Sahab. He was here with us as he has to leave due to some emergency. He couldn't deliver his speech. Similarly with Janab N.A. Haris Sahab. 
And I once again express my grateful thanks to all the speakers of this function and to you, our honorable guests, who have attended this Peace Symposium in such a large number. I also thank one and all who have put in a lot of efforts to make this function a grand success. It has indeed been a great pleasure. Thank you very much. Now, uh, I would like to tell the audience that it is our custom to end the program with a silent prayer. Everybody can, all, all can, people, uh, can pray in their own way. I would re request Janab Shira Sahma Sahab to lead the prayers. As already mentioned, I will, our tradition is to raise hands and offer a silent prayer. We pray for the peace in the world. All of you are most welcome to pray in whichever manner you feel comfortable. So let's offer silent prayer so that we really establish a living relationship with our Creator and the creation of the Creator. Silent prayer, please. I mean, thank you very much.